Hi, I'm Mark. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Railway Fun Facts and Trivia. This episode is on our winter steam spectacular photo shoots. Two weekends in February, you can come to Ely, Nevada and photograph history in motion. The Winter Photo Freight is a pretty rare opportunity to capture steam locomotives in very cold weather. So you have a lot of condensation of steam and you have the snow. So there's a lot of ambiance created that you can't normally get with a photo freight at any other time of the year. During the photo freights in February, we take several trains out on the line and with the Nevada Northern Railway, there's the unique opportunity to have a different train and a different locomotive every time we go out. The participants of the photo freight have really run the gamut. You get a lot of, of very seasoned professionals, some of them produce calendars, uh, books, their names that are, are known amongst rail fans, and all the way down to people from camera clubs that come that are just interested in, in looking at a new subject and photographing something interesting and unique. It's really run the gamut from amateur to professional. And sometimes we get a lot of people who aren't even rail fans. When you combine the isolated location and the steam and the cold and the snow, it, it all comes together to make for some really, really spectacular shots. The Nevada Northern, the way it's set apart from just about all other uh, preserved railroads is that it's absolutely 100% complete and original. When Kennecott shut down in the early 1980s, they pretty much just walked away from it and left it all intact. Furthermore, they never threw anything away, so everything is here. And so you'll, you'll go into a building and there's stuff you know, from 1910 all the way up until the 1980s that runs the gamut of, of historical artifacts. One of the greatest advantages is that all of the equipment here is original. All of the rolling stock, the cars, the locomotives, just about everything was actually here. And so when you shoot a train, it looks exactly as it did 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years ago. So I think the greatest advantage of Nevada Northern is its authenticity. Its isolation is its savior. It hasn't been encroached. It hasn't been touched. Everything here is original, and it's like a time machine. When you, when you come here, you feel like you've gone back in time. There's, there's many, many times when I've been looking at a scene, there's a locomotive switching over here, and they're all against a backdrop of the original coaling tower and the original water tower, and it, nothing pulls you out of it. It's a complete suspension of disbelief. It's, it's really, really fascinating. The winter photo freights take place over a two-week period in February, and uh, sometimes we have snow. And in this particular year, we did not have snow, but we do have spectacular weather, and it's really absolutely gorgeous out here. Well, today I'm shooting with my uh, Hasselblad 500CM. I decided on this trip to bring the film camera because I've been coming to Nevada Northern for 10 years, and I thought it would be interesting to do something different, like film. I brought about five rolls of film and today I'm just having fun just shooting film and uh, just a much slower, methodical way of taking a picture. Whatever you're composing, whatever you see you want to capture, bang, that's the shot. That's it. Then we perform a night shoot and uh, Steve Christ will bring all of his lights uh, down from LA and he'll set them up here and uh, we'll photograph locomotives and people in a, in a prearranged scene at night, which is a very rare opportunity to get a very cinematically lit shot of the equipment here. It's something that you know one person on their own would have a very difficult time doing. Instead of utilizing flash bulbs, which is a very popular means of doing this, or by utilizing uh, dynolites, or I should say uh, lumidines, walking around and popping multiple flashes. What I do is I bring up my studio scrubs from Los Angeles and we place them around the yard like we've done this evening. And by utilizing these little remotes, we can trigger all the strobes at once. Now this is a great way to do night photography because it enables us to do many exposures over the course of the evening. 
So the way that it works is that we form a photo line much like you do with any other night photo shoot. And we will count down. One, two, three, open. And when we say open, you click the shutter open and I fire off the strobes. And you leave your shutter open, you let it drag, catch some of the practical and ambient light in the area and you can leave it open for as long or as short a time as you wish. That's the creative part. The other thing that this does for you is that it enables you to concentrate on not only one uh, area of, of uh, photography, but you can move around and find different angles at, uh, around the locomotive, around the scene, so you can get more than just one shot. As long as you're staying within the parameters of the photo line, you can create seven, eight, nine, a dozen different views in one evening. I think the Nevada Northern makes it very unique because of the, the sheer amount of equipment and uh, property that's available to do this, as well as the price point is, is very reasonable. As an amateur photographer who's never been to one of these, I would say that it's one of the most unique experiences that you can have as a photographer to have all of this equipment and property at your disposal for a weekend. And sometimes I have a hard time describing to people what it's like, and then I bring them here and they go, oh, wow, <laughs> and they're blown away. And then they come back year after year after year. It's a, it was an amazing experience, and I would recommend it to any train enthusiast who loves steam locomotives or just loves uh, railroad photography in general. And I've had a great time, and the, um, it's very well organized, and we've gotten some great, wonderful photos. For more information, look us up at nnry.com. And thanks for watching.